The first stage of construction is to prepare the drive and reception shafts, usually at manhole positions. The drive and reception shafts must be long enough to accommodate the tunneling equipment. A concrete base slab is poured to support the tunneling equipment and a thrust wall is provided where necessary, giving a solid surface from which the pipes can be jacked. Then an entrance sealing arrangement is installed through which the microtunnel machine and pipes can pass as they enter the ground. And finally, the hydraulic jacking rig is installed. Then the microtunnel machine, the real workhorse of the microtunneling process, is lowered into the drive shaft and onto the jacking rig. The drive begins with the microtunnel machine being thrust forward by powerful hydraulic jacks, first passing through the entrance ceiling ring, then tunneling through the ground on its journey to the reception shaft. Once the machine has reached a predetermined position, excavation is halted, cables and hoses are disconnected, and the first jacking pipe is lowered onto the jacking rig. The pipe is pushed up to the back of the microtunnel machine, where the two are linked together, often by an adapter ring, and the cables and hoses are reconnected. Then, pipe and machine are jacked forward, as the excavation at the face of the machine continues. Finally, the microtunnel machine exits the ground into the reception shaft, completing the drive. The machine and equipment are lifted and removed from the site, and manholes are built, ready for project completion. Microtunneling is the perfect choice for deep sewer and pipeline installations.